Scientists in Canada and Europe have made a stunning discovery about the brain. Patients in a vegetative state may actually have some awareness. CTV's Avis Favreau has the details of the small portable device making it all possible. They are patients who are alive but don't appear conscious. So-called persistent vegetative states with cases like Karen Ann Quinlan and Terry Schiavo. The question, is someone trapped inside or have their brains been so injured they should be allowed to die? That may soon be answered with this simple device. These scientists at the University of Western Ontario have developed a portable EEG to measure brain activity at the patient bedside. And when they tested it in 16 unresponsive patients, asking them to imagine moving their hands or toes, even though they couldn't physically respond, their brains did, finding almost one in five were in fact fully conscious. So task number one is finding out how many patients around the world labeled vegetative are actually quite aware. We can test a great number of patients and really get to grips with how many of these patients exist who are, who are stuck in bed, uh, completely unable to, uh, to interact with the outside world, but aware of what is going on. After that, they want to start using the device to communicate with these locked-in patients using simple yes or no questions. For Canada AM, I'm Avis Favreau. Adrian Owen is the lead researcher on this breakthrough study. He joins us this morning from London, Ontario. Good morning. Good morning to you. Well, this is very exciting. Tell me how, when you think, how soon it might be before this portable device is being used regularly. Well, it's very important to emphasize that this this is really a, a, a first step. I mean, it, it was sure. a proof of principle in this sense. Uh, we've taken an existing technology, EEG, and we've applied it to this really challenging clinical problem. How can you detect whether a patient who appears to be vegetative, who's entirely non-responsive, might actually be conscious? Now, of course, getting that into every hospital is going to take a little bit of time. We need to optimize it. We need to get it to be a system that can be used with existing EEG systems that are already in hospitals, and that'll, that'll take a while. And, Adrian, can you tell me what, how it was that it was used? I mean, it, it, in terms of the patients that were found to have some kind of brain activity, how did you figure that out? So you use this device, and then what happens? Well, one of the really interesting things about the brain is that if you imagine some things, areas will be activated in the same way as if you were to actually do those things. So, for example, if you ask somebody to imagine squeezing their fist like this, then a part of the premotor cortex will activate, and that's a part of the brain that's involved in preparing or planning to make movements. So by asking these patients to imagine squeezing their fist, we can see whether they can generate these patterns of brain activity. Now, of course, they can't actually move. We can't detect real movements in the patients, but we can detect whether they have the, the intention or the will or the desire to move. And that's the, the key marker that we look for that tells us that they, they understand what we're asking them to do. And in fact, if only they could, they would actually be able to elicit that action. It, it's so fascinating. I know that you, you tested some 16 patients three of whom had some kind of brain activity. Of those three, how strong was that activity? That's a very interesting question. Uh, in fact, the, the, the key point is that their, their activity was indistinguishable from a group of healthy volunteers. Now, like all of this research, we, we have to, we sometimes spend many years testing it and getting it working exactly right on healthy people. And of course, that means we can compare what happens in the patients to those healthy volunteers. And all three of our cases, produced activity that was completely indistinguishable. Now, in fact, in one case, uh, the, the patient was even better at doing this than any of the healthy volunteers. It's, it, it is absolutely stunning just to even hear you putting those words together in this kind of a, an amazing breakthrough. Thank you so much for sharing it. And yes, I appreciate it. it is early stages, but we'd love to have you back on down the road. Thank you very much.